Hi, I'm Natalie Diaz. I'm a neurologist at PNI and a movement disorder specialist. This is a PNI Minute. Cervical dystonia is a localized or focal form of a neurological condition that's called dystonia. And it affects mostly the muscles of the head and neck. There are involuntary uh, contractures or an involuntary activation of muscles in the neck that cause a, a twisting or turning of the neck and sometimes results in an abnormal posture. And this posture can be pull the head back or it can pull the head and rotate to one side. It can tilt the head to the one side or sometimes can even pull it forward, but that tends to be more rare. Sometimes patients have cervical dystonia and don't know it, but other times, and in the majority of times, it causes symptoms. People can feel pulling or twisting. Um, people can have a decreased range of motion of the neck, um, being stuck in a certain posture. Occasionally in the beginning, um, people can have tremor of the neck, um, but very often they can have some degree of pain and sometimes the pain can be severe. It tends to happen more in men and women. We don't really know the cause of it, although we think that there is probably a genetic component to it. On rare occasion, it can be caused by other things. Um, sometimes it can be due to a trauma of the head or neck, or occasionally people can be on medications, what we call neuroleptics or medications that block dopamine that can bring it out in somebody who is susceptible to this condition. It is a chronic condition, but once we identify it, there are several ways that we can treat it. The most um, effective way are injections of what we call botulinum toxins, such as Botox and Xeomin and a few other um, uh, compounds. These are muscle relaxers that are injected directly into the muscles identified as the culprit um, to help try to relax the muscles and bring the neck um, back into a normal position and help open up range of motion and reduce pain. Um, sometimes with that also we have some oral medications that we can use that are muscle relaxers, especially if the injections aren't um, getting fully to uh, relax the muscles. But with the combination of the two, we can often um, have people reduce their pain, improve their neck mobility, um, improve their quality of life um, with this medication. And this is a very common disorder that we see here in our movement disorder practice.